All right. New season of Game of Thrones is starting up. And somebody better call Dr. 90210 because I have an age-defying secret for all of you. You don't need Botox. You don't need a mommy makeover. What you got to do, go out and get a red gem necklace. Get yourself a red gem necklace. Put some enchantresses on it. You're going to be looking young. That's what Melisandre did. That's the big reveal at the end of this episode. She's old. We thought she was young. She was old. Okay. Now listen, and they got to go into bed naked. Listen, I know a lot of people sleep naked. I know a lot of people on Game of Thrones definitely sleep naked. But how many old people sleep naked? I mean, that just wasn't a realistic moment. When you're old, you don't want to have to see that. But they just do it so they can work all the straight, fa- straight fanboys up, show them some nice titties, and then bam, she's old. Old women's naked bodies are scary. That's what this message is saying, okay? That's ageist, okay? But I was scared too, I'm not even going to lie. When I saw that, I was like, so I'm just like the rest of you. Then we got Khaleesi coming through. She thought she was up for a combo beheading rape scenario. But then they told her she was going to have to go to a convent or something for widows. You could just literally look on her face. She'd rather do the... Rape batting is sounds boring as hell over there in the comment. But what are you gonna do? She'll figure some way out of it, I'm sure, because we just can't get enough of her annoying butt. Now on to who else? Brienne showed up. Kick some butt. Brienne and Marjorie are like the only two good people on the show. Marjorie, they're like, Marjorie, we need you to confess, you sinned, and she's like, We all sinned. I know that's right. What the fuck are you going on on this show? 